the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a wee salmon fly called the Pink Mitchells. Now, the hook in the vase is a Partridge Patriot double in size 8 and black nickel. The thread that I'm going to use is the Uni 3801 white and that's just to keep the, the front body here as bright as we possibly can. So I'm just going to come in a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. We'll get the thread started. Remove the waist tag of thread. Now the tag and the rib, show you the spool is going to be the Vanyard's uh, copper wire 0.2 mils, which is the fine stuff. I don't think you really need to go any thicker, if I'm honest. Now, we're just going to catch this in on top and then work our thread down until we're slightly past the points of the hooks. And because this is wire, it's obviously thinner in diameter, we're going to take five turns of the silver wire you know, on the last turn bring it up and in between the two hooks. Now if I was using an oval silver tinsel I would have just used or took four turns at the back. Now keeping the wire in underneath just work your your thread forward. This will strengthen the fly for you. So you're catching it in on the top, taking your turns, folding it back and catching it in underneath. And that's going to make that wire tag at the back nice and strong and that's what you want you want your flies to last you don't want them to fall to pieces after one fish now the tail is just a pink bucktail so just got a wee pinch off here now, just want this to be around about a length and a half to twice the length of the hook over the back is what I like that's up to you it's how you like the the length that you like the tails on your salmon flies. Just take away the, the waist and the tail we're going to add some flesh and this is pink crystal flesh. Right. Sometimes when I get the crystal flesh I just like to give it a wee stretch just to stretch it out a wee bit then we'll just take our two strands of flesh them up into the tail just to secure them in take a couple of turns back and trim that away now I'll moisten them and leave that for the wing the rear body you're just looking at a large holographic silver tinsel just offer this up and then just work your thread up and in your holographic tinsel, probably just slightly over halfway with the holographic tinsel. Then we're just going to come around with a nice square turn at the back, just have a check. And hop in off of that. And then just overlapping turns of the holographic. A couple of turns will catch that in for you. Trim away the waist. Now, at this point, just going to tidy up over the cut ends of the bucktail back up. Front part of the body you're looking some pink diamond dub or ice dub. I get mine from Blob and Buzzer and you'll find Blob and Buzzer on the social media on Facebook. Andrew's a good lad. Give him a shout. He'll sort you out with your, your dubbing. Now, just dubbing this on. Just taking it the, the one way and then we can up as we go. Then we'll come up with our, our rib and we're looking four turns of the silver wire up the body. Catch that in. Then we can bend and bring away the wire. Now at this point just going to come in with a wee bit of Velcro. Velcro out some of the some of the ice tub under the dressing. I'm just going to work my thread all forward. Because the head's black now at this point, you can keep the white thread on then just use a marker, a black permanent marker. And I just like to come in and switch over to the, the black thread and trim away the white, the white tang thread. The wing on the fly is a uh, 
you can use black arctic fox in this case this is just a, a small pinch of the black arctic runner now, that's too much so I'm just going to reduce it just a small pinch now, as you all know the, the black arctic runners absolutely fantastic material dead mobile in the water give you plenty of movement in the fly now, length of the wing it's up to you guys again I mean I'm just going to tie this basically where the the wings sort of way just coming over halfway into the tail which is this part here these are the guard hairs so I want to leave those in in relation to the taper that I want to see in the fly so I'm just going to offer it up on top come around with a pinch and loop a couple of tight turns then I'm coming and trim away the, the waist ends I'm not too worried about it sitting up at the minute we'll get that sorted out to secure it in with like a super glue onto the thread and then just take this down over the, the cut ends and then we'll come in and just get this to sit down for you just to show you it. it's going to swim really well in the water then just go back to our pink crystal flesh or mirror fl crinkle flesh apologies you want two of this two strands in the wing, a couple of turns, fold the waist ends back, trim those away and then the front tackle, I'm just looking at a pink or a pink hen or a pink cock haggle, this is a pink cock hen haggle that I'm going to use so I'll just strip away the rubbish from the bottom, just stroke back the fibers just to reveal your tip to give you a tandem point just offer this up to the hook come around with a turn fold the tip back and just take your thread turns back up over the tip you can break that away now we're probably going to look a turn and a half the two turns of this see how we get on it's the same put another one in and then we'll catch the, the stem off underneath here nice and tight keep my thread tight and break away the, the stem of the haggle then I'm going to work my thread back up just want to build a sort of a flat foundation here just to, to finish it off now the jungle cock it is required in the dressing so with two eyes here that I've taken off the cape so I'm just going to offer these up to the hook just come around with a couple of loose turns just to see what way we're what way we're sitting there I want them up more into the wing like that and then I want to check the length just have a check on the length just before you sort of way tack everything in because at this point there's once you do this there's no going back and you don't want to be wasting the jungle cock eyes that's that's one thing so a couple of tight turns heading down towards the eye then just come in and fold back the the stems of the jungle cock Take note, now keep your thread tight and break those away and then we'll just come in and throw in a whip finish put your thread tight come in trim away your your tan thread and there you go guys that's the the pink Mitchells now this is named after fun fact this is named after a pool on the river Dee just to seal the head up so we drop a super glue now we're going to use this just be careful not to touch your haggle and just ruin it just ruin all your hard work straight round to there 
Then once that dries guys I'll come in and hit that with a couple of coats of varnish to seal up the super glue. It's important that you seal up the, the super glue or it will take a moisture bling. So there you go guys, Pink Mitchells. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed that, you just got something from it. In relation to the bucktail, some people may husk how the bucktail so straight. Uh, I've done a wee video and I put it up on the on the channel there. So that's the bucktail. You can see it there, it's nice and straight. Per your wife or partner's hair straighteners. My hair's too short, short to have a hair straighteners, but <laughs> if you use that, just take it through gently, not too hot, and that will straighten your, your bucktail out for you. So there you go guys, the Pink Mitchells. As always, thanks for taking the time to view the video. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, all being well, I'll see you on the next one.